What's up guys, it's your boy Ty Skits here and today we are back with another Car X Drift Racing Online video for the new 2.17.0 update. Now I know a lot of people are going to have questions about this, so I just want to say make sure you guys subscribe, turn on post notifications, drop a like on this video and share the video for more great content. But with that being said, in today's video I'll be showing you guys the ins and outs of the modification workshop how to upload tunes, how to install tunes for tune sharing and things of that nature. So first things first, what I'm gonna teach you guys is how to upload a tune. But before we do that, I'm just gonna go over the basics of the tune sharing menu. So basically we have a list here where you can literally go through everything and look at all the different tunes that are made. Um, I'll show you guys how to apply the tunes, but I'm gonna show you how to make them for, or how to make them and share them first. Um, with every tune that you come across, if there's like certain settings that you like or certain prefer preferences that you want, you can actually go through and preview all of the settings for the Dino Stand tune for the car. So if I want to see like what adhesion the wheel's on, I can go in here and I can see, oh, it's on 100 adhesion. Um, or no, this is actually on 120 adhesion. So it shows you your tune and then it shows you their tune. So this is all your stats right here and then this is their stats. So I don't want an 120 adhesion tune. So I'd go to a different tune. So like, for example, if I go to the 90s tune and I look, which shows I'm on 100 and then the person's tune that I'd be grabbing is on 90s. But that's pretty simple. Now to share a tune, what you want to do is once you have your tune made and everything set up, you want to go to your dyno stand and right here, it'll say save as a custom modification. Once you have it saved as a custom modification, you want to go ahead and like name it. So I'm just going to put like Ty and then just put like the first name of the truck, which is Kai or Key. I don't know how to pronounce it. If somebody can let me know how to pronounce that down below in the comment section, I'd appreciate that. But basically you just want to save the tune. Once you have the tune saved, go to the multiplayer tab, go to the modification workshop. And then what you want to do is literally just come to the modification workshop and then go over to customs. Once you're in customs, what you want to do is go ahead and press install or not install, but publish. Once you press publish, it's going to ask you like if you're on keyboard, gamepad, will. I'm obviously on a gamepad, so I'm going to press gamepad and then boom, it's literally that easy to, you know, upload a tune and share the tune with other people. So basically, um, I forgot how to see my own tune, but there's a way to see your own tune that you've like uploaded and get the code for it. I forgot how to get the code, though. How do I get the code? Or do you have to find it in the list? That's going to suck if we have to find it in the list. The people that upload the tunes don't get a code. So um, if you guys want to use this tune, you can. But this tune that I have for the Kai truck isn't finalized. And this is actually the perfect time to mention. Tomorrow, I will be uploading a tune for the Kai truck. It'll be around tomorrow morning, like 1 or 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so be expecting that. So that's how you guys upload a tune though. That basically wraps it up. You just want to save the tune as a custom mod. Once you have it saved, go to customs and upload the tune. Unfortunately though, I tried to figure out a way to find like the code for the tune so that I could just give it to you guys. But the thing is weird right now. Hopefully they update it to where when you make the tune, you get the code because right now you have to scroll through just to find my tune which kind of sucks they should make it to where you can literally have a code for the tune and you can share it that way instead of instead of having to go through a whole list of stuff so that's pretty straightforward though the next thing we're going to be going over is how to install a tune so to how to install a tune it's basically pretty straightforward all you want to do is go to save as a custom modification and then once you have it saved what you want to do is go to the garage go to mods and swaps go to customs there's my tune there and then here's the other tune right here all i would do is install it and then unfortunately if you only have one tune that you like downloaded from like the workshop you can't like uninstall and reinstall that tune whenever you want to uninstall a tune that you have or to use a different tune than the one that you have you have to switch to a different tune otherwise if you don't have a different tune saved as a custom modification you have to delete it so for example I have this tune on the car right now, but there's no option for me to uninstall it. So maybe that's something else we could possibly get in the game, an option to uninstall the tune. And then an option to where we can like literally like, you know, upload the tune to the workshop and then see the code for it. Because like, it kind of sucks that like I upload a tune and then I don't see a code. 
and you know it makes me scroll through this long list of stuff but, like for console players you guys are going to be sitting there hitting the d-pad over and over and over just to find like one code but mm, i'll figure out a way to make it like a lot easier in the future what i'll probably do is like when i upload the tunes for like tune videos now because tune videos are going to be way different i'm not going to be doing like uh videos where i go over all the tune settings it'll just be like a tune code and then and then me showcasing gameplay so what, I was, what i'll do is like i'll try to like reach out to Crax and see if maybe that's something that can get implemented because they're not officially done done with the update so i'll see if maybe they can add that <clears throat> but what i'll do is just you know like have the code have the code on screen in the video while i'm doing the gameplay and then like have it in the description so you guys can just type it in which will make it like a lot easier but with that being said i'm pretty sure i covered everything it's pretty simple the modification workshop basically just allows you to like share tunes and install other people's tunes and use them on your car will we get livery sharing in the future i don't know hopefully we do but that's gonna wrap it up for today's video this has been your boy task it's going over the modification workshop in car extra racing online 2.17 and i will catch you guys in the next one peace